Hello YouTube. Hi, my name is Mark. This is Nixon Motorsports. This channel is all about motorsports from racing to exotic cars and even simulators. Today's video, I'm going to talk about video broadcasting for your race car. What do I mean by that? Well, let's get into it. So first, let me talk about video broadcasting again. What, what do I mean by that? So you've seen IndyCar, you've seen Formula One, how their live streaming of video data from the race car is actually broadcasted for viewing, right? Amateur racing, I don't think I've ever seen that. Um, maybe uh, it, it's happened, I'm not aware of it. But uh, um, what I'm going to show and, and um, talk about is, is how you can do that in your race car with today's technology. So um, think of it this way. First, why, why would you care? Well, having live video video um, broadcasted to your crew, as an example, on the pit wall, um, they will be able to see exactly what you're doing on track. Um, you can have viewing where you have some, uh, um, you know, supporters just wanting to watch. Uh, you know, they'll have act actual viewing of what you're doing on track. So it's not a, it's not a um, video transmission that's showing everything on track with commentators, that type of thing. That's not what I'm talking about. But it's taking your live data from your race car. Um, it's transmitting that data um, at a high frame rate directly to you in the pit wall. So how have I done that? Um, relatively straightforward. So I'm using the SmartyCam 3. It's their newest video, uh, solid state video recorder that they produce. Um, I'm using the dual uh, camera uh, module. And um, the cool thing about the SmartyCam 3 um, not all models, by the way, you would have to look at this, but the dual model I'm using supports two cameras. It provides this feature called video streaming, and so it actually will broadcast your, um, your collected camera data and audio um, through what's called a formatted video structure. It's called uh, 3G SDI. Uh, what that means, in essence, it's an HD uh, 1080p video transmission at 60 frames per second, which is actually quite good. So there's the creation of the video stream. Now, how you can actually use that is the challenge. And I was able to do, do that relatively well. Um, so what I ended up doing is using um, a product from DJI. Basically, it's a video transmission receiving modules that are um, um, modules that you have to pair to each other so they actually um, they actually are not open right for anyone to look at but just as an example if I pan down here um, this is this is a receiving module this is just an example of something lightweight um, this actually um, can be carried easily and um, viewed on track um, and it's super light so it has this has battery it's got the built-in receiver with monitor on the package now you can also get a receiver that just um, just a, is the receiver itself where you would have to stand up your own um, monitor attachment right so we're gonna do both now let me pan down here to the race car and show you what I've done. So here I have my video transmitter itself. Let me go down here a little bit so you can see it better. I just have it um, velcroed up against the side of the wall there and you have you have your power inputs, you have your video uh, feed inputs, and then you have your antenna outputs. This guy actually is the transmitter and the transmitter will transmit 20,000 feet line of sight. And um, I can tell you from a concern point of view, um, radio in interference doesn't seem to be a problem. We're shocked actually how well it works on track. Uh, you know, 130, 140 miles an hour. Um, now it is line of sight, so if there are buildings or mountains or, uh, you know, obstacles, uh, 
that are in the way of the radio transmission, you're going to have a little bit of frame loss. Um, so we've seen some of that on the back stretch out here at this track, but minor. For the most part, what the crew is saying is that it's phenomenal. They have full viewing pretty much everywhere on the track. Um, and, and I have a forward facing, let me show you this, a forward facing and a rear facing camera. Again, it's, it's uh, for them for the most part. So here's the camera that I mounted that's forward facing. I just spun another one up right behind that. Here is kind of the rear facing camera out back. It works great. Um, so I would, I, would, uh, um, I would say anyone that's interested in this, you know, get a hold of me if you need some help um, talking about the, the how-to a little bit. Be happy to uh, discuss that with you. Okay, so I'll wrap up with this. I gotta tell you, you know, you, of all the things that I do with my race car, and I love data, um, you can tell I like to tinker, I like to try new things and add new, hopefully products that help me. Um, go faster, right? Uh, this doesn't necessarily make you go faster, but it is one of the more cool, awesome things actually that we've done in quite a while. It's amazing to see what the technology is able to do these days. So if you're one of those folks who likes to tinker, you know, a couple extra dollars is not a big deal, or you want to have telemetry with your crew in a relatively in, uh, inexpe inexpensive uh, manner, I would say you should really look into doing this. It is not that complicated and um, it's pretty much plug and play. Once you get it configured, um, it, it's a, it's a no-brainer. So that's, that's my view on this. Now, I'm not, um, I'm not sponsored by DJI, that type of thing. Uh, obviously, I, I have an affiliation with AIM and, and MoTeC and that type of thing, but um, this would work with any system that can produce a video stream. So if there are other recorders out there, uh, and I'm not aware, but there may be other recorders other than SmartyCam that has a nice um, 3, 3DI, 3GI sorry, um, video feed or transmit feed, then you could you can mix and match this as, as you kind of get where I'm going on it, right? But um, anyway, that's it for this video. By the way, if you haven't seen the Avon videos, and there's a handful of them out and coming out, there's awesome news on the, the racing tire front with Avon. Um, make sure you subscribe if you haven't, so you're informed of when those um, videos uh, get released. There's some really good stuff. And, um, but that's it for now. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate the comments. And until next time, ciao.